and he came in through the front door right here and just th started shooting her. Chaos at Ravenscroft Beauty College, an active shooter situation, one dead, several hurt. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brett Thomas. And I'm Heather Heron. Tonight, we are learning more about what happened, and we have team coverage. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson and Chris Darby are live outside the college. We'll start tonight with Chris and the massive police response to this developing story. Brett and Heather, I'm, as you said, across the street from Ravenscroft. You can see that behind me here at the intersection of Stellhorn and Laymire Roads. Right now, just a handful of police vehicles still here as the inv investigation continues on into what happened here a few hours ago. Now, I can tell you that there is some inaccurate information that's been floating around about the situation. This is what police are telling News Channel 15 tonight. 911 dispatchers got a call of shots fired inside this building around 645 this evening. Officers from across the city and several agencies responded to the call. When they got here, they found a woman shot outside. She was seriously hurt, but she, her condition has been downgraded to critical condition at the hospital. Now, once they got inside, police found a man dead. Witnesses tell us they believe that man was the shooter. Police tell us they are not looking for a suspect. Another female had minor injuries in the incident. Nobody else was hurt. This area was close to traffic, inundated with emergency vehicles and first responders preparing to deal with the worst. And the information that we received that it was possible, possibly an active shooter that was inside the building at the time of dispatch. The official cause and manner of death as well as the identity of the man will be released by the Allen County Coroner's Office in the coming days. And I talked with a student from Ravenscroft just a little bit ago. He said that he's been told that the college will not be open tomorrow. Live on the north side of Fort Wayne, Chris Darby, News Channel 15. And tonight we are hearing from the people who were inside the college when the shots were fired. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson continues our team coverage this evening. She talked with someone who knew the victim. Angelica. Brett and Heather, the scene here at Ravenscroft Beauty College could only be described as chaos. I mean, people were running out of here. Witnesses say they were in a state of panic, running out of the building, screaming and crying straight into traffic. Now, police are still trying to piece together what happened, what led up to that shooting here earlier today. But witnesses are saying that it could have been fueled by a recent breakup between two students. A witness told us that the shooter was a student instructor at the Barber College here, and they say the man and came through the front door armed with a gun and fired several shots at his ex-girlfriend. I'm told the ex-girlfriend was also a student at the beauty school. According to witnesses, the woman was shot several times and during the whole ordeal, some people were hiding inside. Others raced into the field behind the college to safety. One student I talked with told me, they wanted to help the woman, but they were scared because they didn't know where the shooter was or if he would turn the gun on them. Uh, we are told that an instructor did stay with the woman and help the woman who was shot and they and did comfort her until police and paramedics arrived. And the witness who didn't want to be uh, identified by name says that she believes the man then turned the gun on himself. He's a coward. He didn't want to face. He wouldn't face all this. And I'm pretty sure he thought that she didn't make it. But she's, she's fine as far as I'm hearing. She's talking. But he shot her at least like seven times. So I think he thought that he succeeded and didn't kill himself. But he's the only one dead at this point. Another point that students uh, did point out to us is that they are a little bit concerned with the lack of security at the school. Our, we're told that there's only one security guard who works during the daytime. So when this shooter walked through the front doors, there, there was basically no one there to stop him. We'll, of course, continue to follow this, and we're going to bring you the latest developments as this becomes available. For now, reporting live on the northeast side, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15. This is not the only time the school has experienced tragedy. Three years ago, a Ravenscroft student was shot and killed at a bus stop. It ended with a suspect dead as well after a four-hour-long standoff with police. And News Channel 15's Kelly Roberts joins us now with that part of the story. Yeah, that incident happened in March of 2013 and was very public. Police said a man shot and killed 49-year-old Jacqueline Hardy when she got off a CityLink bus at the corner of East Pettit and Reed Street. The gunman, identified as 45-year-old Kenneth Knight, took off from the scene and barricaded himself inside a house at the 3000 block of Holton Street. He refused to come out and had a three-year-old hostage inside. Two sharpshooters had a clear shot of Knight and based on information police had, they took it. 
Knight was killed. No one else was hurt in the home. Police said Knight was Hardy's ex-boyfriend, who she had recently put a restraining order on. Jacqueline Hardy was a student at Ravenscroft Beauty College. The school canceled classes the day after that shooting. In Studio 15, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15. We will continue to follow this developing story. For the very latest news, stay with us both on air and online at Wayne.com.